First up, we're going to do the Atlas GP40. I just tried to detect it, and I saw it. The motor click over a couple times, has like blink, but ultimately detection failed. So, that tells me that the uh, decoder is probably okay, but there's some other problem. And let's go ahead, see if we can't break it down. Right, let's take out the couplers. I'll have to remember that these got little washers on. Tweezer tam. Let's get our tweezers in here. Oh man, look at that coupler. That ain't right. Okay, we gotta fix that. Not supposed to be that way. Dang, the rear one's the same way. I forgot what the, what's up with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got. Washers and couplers. Not supposed to be that way. And we'll figure that out later. Let's uh, go. Okay, I'm gonna get the motor. All right, let's see here now. Oh yes, this is one of those shells, just like our GP50. So it kind of comes off. Hopefully, there is not a bunch of wiring upstairs. I'm betting there is though. There's a little bit. Whoa, look at that decoder. Man, I haven't seen one of those. Actually, ever. I have never seen one of those. So these tiny thin wires that go to the beacon. Okay. I didn't see the beacon come on. Uh, but there it is. And oh, it's, it's uh, bubble wrap down here. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so there's the lights. That's why I saw the lights blinking. All right, so no matter what we do, we've got to we got to take apart the trucks and and uh, clean them all up and everything, and then we'll come back. We got to make sure that we got good connections. Let's see, we got different color wires and stuff, and we'll check out this motor. All right, and and that is that's where we're at on GB40. I'm going to go ahead. As you saw before on the GP, behind those GP38, do the same thing. We're going to take out trucks, take them all apart, mash them naturally, and then put them in the ultrasonic and clean all those parts. Then we'll know that they'll be good to go.